What's going on everybody? This is Major League Hats and on today's episode we are continuing part two of Blank Canvas. In my previous video I showed you a couple of blank hats. If you have not seen that video I will post a link uh, at the end of this video so you can go check that out just so you can see where we are at at this point in time. So today is not going to be an unboxing or a hat review. It is going to be a hat reveal. So as you guys figured out I was at Lids, and when you are at Lids, you can't just come out with nothing. So I shot a little footage of what was going on for the day. So let's check out that footage, and I will show you the awesome pickups that I picked up while I was waiting around for a couple hours. And no, I did not spend it all at Lids. I just spent probably a good hour or so at Lids just checking stuff out because as you guys know, I don't always get to make it down to the store. They were having a buy two, get one free hat special. So I had to see if I could take advantage of that little sale while I was hanging out. So let's uh, take a look at this little clip that I got while I was down there. Take a look. As you can see, you see a white hat getting some work done on it and I will be showing you what I ended up doing. As you guys probably saw in my last video, if you guys have been following me and if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, here's your opportunity to join the best society on YouTube, the Hat Collection Society and it's very simple. All you gotta do is hit your subscribe button, hit your notification and you will be subscribed to the best society and all of YouTube land. Yes, the Hat Collection Society. So hit that real quick and then we will continue on. So while I was down there, I got some work done as I mentioned and I picked up some other hats. I don't know if I saw them online. Now one of them I did see online and I didn't really know what to think and I know some other people picked them up. They said they were really cool with them. They thought they were really nice looking. And you know, honestly, I just didn't know really what to think because Sometimes when people are like doing their little own hat review type thing, I'm really not sure what they're really thinking. I don't know if they're hyping up the hat just because or I, I don't know. So anyway, so when I got my first glimpse at one of these hats, I took a look at it and I thought to myself, and it wasn't like immediate, oh, I got to get this. It was a, this is different. I like different. This is definitely something to talk about. And honestly, this is something that I'd be willing to pick up because one, I like it. It's different. It's not your mainstream. It's maybe not for everybody. I really feel like that if you don't have this hat or a particular version of this hat, you should go pick it up because the cool part about it is that all the hats are done differently. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about what I am talking about. But in the meantime, let's get on to reveal number one so we're just going to do this kind of quickly not talk too much about the hats themselves except for maybe two of them so make sure like i said you're subscribed and you hit your notifications so when i do those hat reviews you'll get notified and if you want to see those hats you will get to see those hats so without further ado let's start out with hat number one and we have the very simple very basic bam the new england Patriots, Lids had a sale going on on basic NFL hats for 15 bucks, so I had to check them out. I didn't have a basic New England Patriots, so I had to pick up this hat for only $15. You cannot beat that. They also had the Packers and the Falcons and the Cowboys and the Giants. I'm going to be honest, I looked for every single one of them. 15 bucks for a new era fitted basic hat. <laughs> You can't beat that. That is a freaking steal right there. But I picked up the New England Patriots basic edition hat. Like I said, very basic, new era. There we go. Patriots going to go perfect with my number 12 Tom Brady jersey. And no, I still have not got the NFL logo element hat of the Patriots. I still like to pick that one up. But in the meantime, I am super excited that I finally got this hat because this is actually a hat that I've been wanting for a while. I just never got a chance to pick it up. Because my main focus is on baseball hats or minor league hats. So 15 bucks, you cannot beat that. So that's hat number one, the New England Patriots basic. 
Hat number two. You have seen this hat on my Major League Hats Most Wanted hat just very recently. Now, I didn't get the hat I exactly wanted, but I'm happy still nonetheless that I was able to pick up this one. And here's what we got. We got the BAM! The Tampa Bay Double Rays with the old traditional Tampa Bay Double Rays logo. I like it. I would have preferred the, they have one with the purple bill and like a forest green type uh, crown. I still wouldn't mind picking this one up, but I'm super happy that I was able to pick this one up at the store just because it has that traditional Tampa Bay Double Ray logo on it. This thing is freaking nice. So happy to add that one. Um, doesn't mean that it's going to probably come off my Major League Hats Most Wanted hat list. Like I said, I still want to get the other one, but if I, for some reason, do not get that one, this one will definitely suffice to my liking because it has the old traditional logo. So tell me what you guys think. Do you guys like this one? I hope you guys have picked this one up because it is a traditional one and I just think it's freaking awesome. So let's go to reveal hat number three. All right, put that one over here. This one is a nice one. And this is one of those hats that I was talking about that I don't know if I saw on line or anything but i saw it they had this one and two other ones and i wouldn't mind going back to picking up the other one or maybe picking it up online the third one i probably wasn't going to pick up and i tell you why but we have the bam we have the new york yankees ultimate patch collection it's awesome it has i really like how they have this patch on the side that says 2009 inaugural season which is the year that they opened up new yankee stadium this thing is freaking nice take a look it is white which is not one of my favorite colors but the fact that it had the stadium on it i just thought that was a really cool feature and ultimately that is why i picked it up because as you guys know that have been watching my channel and i am kind of a sentimental kind of guy and i just like the fact that when i wasn't really collecting ha hats as heavy as i am now that i'm able to still pick up these hats and i just like it because not only is it a cool reminder about when the stadium opened it's just a cool emblem of the stadium itself the other hat that they had in store with the chicago cubs they had a cool looking wrigley field patch on it so that would have been a nice one and then they had the los angeles dodgers with chavez ravine on it i mean i'm not like against not picking that one up but there was no way that if i was going to pick up another hat that i'd pick the dodgers over the cubs if anything i'd pick up the cubs and then i'd pick up the dodgers you know if it was just in store now obviously if i go online i'll see if they have the giants i'm not honestly sure because i don't know if i've seen these hats online i'm pretty sure that they were at one time and maybe they're just not being heavily promoted as of right now so that is the third hat that I picked up was the New York Yankees Ultimate Patch Collection. This one is freaking nice. I like this hat. Uh, I just don't like the color. White, you know, dirty, whatever. So that is the third hat. I actually have a total of five hats, but I picked up four new ones. And then the other one was the blank hat that you saw on the machine earlier. But this is kind of the hat that I've been talking about a lot in the beginning of my video where I said I didn't really know what to expect until I saw it. And then like I said, it, I feel like if you guys don't have this hat, you should go pick it up because I really like the fact with each team, they did something a little bit different with the emblem itself. But we got the BAM! San Francisco Giants Metal and Thread Edition style hat. This thing is freaking nice. Just real quick, it is called the Metal and Thread Edition because the logo itself, obviously all metal. The outlining of the Metal SF, it's a thread. So they did that in a white outlining. So this thing is actually really nice. Feels a little top heavy, of course, because of the metal. So I look forward to doing a review on that. There are a couple things I wouldn't mind changing on this hat. So please stay tuned for that hat review. Getting back to the different logos real quick. On some of the logos, like for example, if the mascot for the logo of the hat was wearing like a hat or something, they would put the metal part, the hat, or in some cases, the metal part might've been a piece of a bat or something. They just, like every logo was a little bit different. It wasn't like the standard uniformity of the hat so like i said i like kind of how the san francisco giants have theirs i would change one little thing and i'll talk to you guys about that in the next hat review so please stay tuned for that these are going in the hat review bag so i don't forget about them so that is why i got the bags all right without further ado let's conclude 
blank canvas video part number two. I don't know if you guys were excited to uh, see what I did with this hat. Please remember that I said that uh, I'm working on a logo. So if anybody would like to help me design a logo, please make sure you're following me on Instagram. I'll provide that link there at the bottom. Please DM me if you are interested and we will go from there. But I was playing around this one is just a very basic design. I want to eventually, you know, get my own little logo. I talked to Lids and what I have to do in order to be able to process the idea of making a logo. And basically what it comes out to is I have to get a logo in JPEG formation. I have to take it down to Lids, pay 25 bucks for each logo design. They send it out to their designer people. They make it the right compatibility with their machines. Then they send it back. And then at that time, I could start producing hats. The 25 bucks, of course, is just for the transition from the JPEG to the compatibility of their machines. And then, of course, I got to purchase hats. So, But I really want to get something going, and, and not necessarily to sell or anything, but just for myself, I would like to eventually take this channel to the next level up. And I know I'm only at 230 subs, so I am a long way away from making any real kind of merch to get to you guys. And honestly, I don't know if you guys would be interested in it, but at least for myself, you know, I'm trying to grow this channel. And for me, I feel like that is a vital part of my channel and my channel success is if I move on to the next step, which is trying to develop a logo. So like I said, if you guys are interested in helping me to try to do that, we will go from there. Hit me up on Instagram and like I said, we'll go from there. So with all that being said, here is what I came out. Very basic, very simple. Uh, I'm still working on it, of course, but here is what I have for Major League Hats Custom. Number two, we got the BAM! ML hats custom number two. I just kind of went really simple. I went with the distillery letter with the ML and then the HATZ in red. And as you see, obviously the ML is in blue. And what the idea on this one was, at least for the coloring scheme, is I tried to do major league baseball colors. So you got your red, white, and blue. So I tried to do that. You know, the lettering itself to me, I like it. I don't know if it would be the uh, final product per se of what I would put out because, you know, looking at it, you almost, the the T and the Z are very identical. Overall, I think it is really good. If you guys have not seen my first design originally, here we have, I put the ML Hats 5950, which is my Instagram name. So this time I went with just the ML Hats. There's nothing on the back or anything. And the reason why is because I actually wanted to do something with this particular hat to put on the back. But as I mentioned earlier, in order to do that, I have to do a JPEG, pay the 25 bucks, send it in. And then at that point in time, they will be able to put it on the back of the hat. So I am still gonna do that. Uh, probably gonna wait about another month or two before I actually get to that point. Cause if I can, I would like to at least take in like three idea designs for a logo and do it at once because they said it'll take about a week or so to turn around. And then that way I will be able to finish completing this hat. And I already have a name for this hat, uh, what I'm gonna call it. So make sure, like I said, you guys stay tuned. I hope you guys liked my blank canvas part two. If you guys really liked the video, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. I'm trying to get 25 likes in every single video. And as I mentioned earlier, if you wanna follow me on Twitter or Instagram, I'll provide my link down at the bottom. And if you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you guys later on in the week. All right, you guys, this is Major League Hats, out. Bye, everybody, see ya. Bye.